We all know what Major League Baseball is, also referred to as the MLB. And if you're watching this video, you're probably a sports fan. As the days, months, and years keep going by, more and more people are coming to the realization that Major League Wiffle Ball is in full effect, and it is a real thing. Just about every kid who has played baseball used to play Wiffle Ball in their backyard, maybe with their friends, with their family, or more. Back in 2010, Kyle Schultz decided to finally film his Wiffle Ball games that he was playing himself in his own front yard. At the very start of it, the league consisted of Kyle, his two brothers, Tommy Coughlin, and Tommy's sister. So that just goes to show you guys, for whoever's trying to grow a wiffle ball league now, we all start from somewhere. And the same thing goes for YouTube, or really anything else you guys want to accomplish. He saw the progress that he was making and he just wanted to stay on that same path, all while having fun while he was just playing a normal game in his front yard. And then finally in August 2019, MLW hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is such a big accomplishment. YouTube sent the play button down, and it was a big accomplishment because many people who do YouTube in today's day and age, they really dream of getting that play button, and it's a big deal. While this was occurring, Kyle went to the University of Michigan and managed in sports management and entrepreneurship. He had a goal in the back of his mind the whole time that he was there, that he wanted to be financially stable by the time he graduated, and he was very committed to that process. And in 2021, when the graduation happened, he was able to be financially stable and he was able to invest himself into the content 100%. He was able to even prep differently by getting more equipment and putting every ounce of energy that he possibly has into content. And when this is being filmed on December 17th, now MLW Wiffleball has 367,000 subscribers and more coming in literally every day. There's multiple incomes of revenue, with that being merch, attorneys, and the different sponsorships that MLW has every year. And Boocrips has been the official backup sponsor of MLW for the past two seasons. And with over 10 years of baseball experience and a lot of football experience as well, I can honestly say this is the best backup I've ever used. Of course, the numbers have really improved tremendously throughout the past couple years, by which Kyle has mastered algorithms and really his content in general. The channel wouldn't have been able to go next level, though, if it wasn't for the help of Tommy Coughlin as well. And while Kyle does more of the YouTube aspect of everything, Tommy will help out on the side by doing... The Instagram, the TikTok, the Pipe It Up podcast, helping out at the tournaments, and more. And with him being able to commit himself 100% into this big journey, it just makes you think that the possibilities are endless for this amazing league. Even today, Tommy's still taking in every bit of knowledge that he can from Kyle. He stated multiple times that he's just grateful to be in the position that he's in today. As we know many years ago, Danny Duncan basically started the mic'd up call. The Mic'd Up Cult is all the YouTubers that we watch and see nowadays, like Balen Levine, Jideon, Dizzy Dill, DeAdrian Harding, etc. Basically just vlog their life, do pranks, and more. And they do this all just by wearing their mic that's taped around their chest. People like to watch guys like Balen Levine and Dizzy because they preach sobriety and not doing drugs and more. So when viewers go to watch them, they're not just watching them because they think they're funny. That may be a reason, but they're also watching them just because of their genuine personality. I was blessed with good idols growing up. Of course, shout out to Bo. Seeing him be so positive when I was in high school impacted me tremendously and has influenced me to do the same with you guys. Say some of you don't have the parents, right? Say some of you don't have a friend group. I want you to know at least at the end of the day, you always have me. And I want you guys to know that in your hearts forever. You always have me. Always. When a neutral viewer clicks on a YouTube video of someone that they've never seen before, you get intrigued by certain things. These guys have a special connection with their audience to where it makes them feel at home or people that they can possibly relate to. The reason why I'm bringing this up is that in 2022, I feel like MLW has at least one to two guys on just about every team that has a unique personality that the audience really enjoys watching for them being a genuine person. This is another reason why I think my good friend Jimmy Norp is so popular. Chocolate milk. Big chocolate milk guy. Had a gallon of chocolate milk this morning and that got me fired up, man. First words, you just won the World Series. Where are you going now? You know, I'm going to Disney World, baby. <laughs> yeah. You're going to Chili's. I'm going to Chili's. <laughs> While Jimmy is one of the best players in the league, he's able to play with passion and really show his personality out there while playing and outside of the field too. For example, Here's a clip from UFS, which is the biggest national wiffle ball tournament year round that I filmed myself a couple months ago. Someday, love will find you. Your brain change that binding. Back to what I was saying, when he's that good of a player and he's that memorable, that is why I personally think that he's a fan favorite. And if anybody's unfamiliar, you may be curious about how the league works. There's eight teams. Every time you show up to the field, you play three three inning games for your series. 
and after a universal vote from the league, there was a draft implemented in 2020, and it has gotten to the point to where pretty much every team is even, and there's no easy games now. It makes it even better for a viewer standpoint in that regard as well, just because when you're watching the game, you know it's going to be competitive. This league is really just putting sports fans on notice in general. In other sports leagues and other YouTubers have seen this and wanted in as well. MLW has actually collaborated with Como Blitzball, and recently we just did another one with We Got Ice, who also have their own YouTube channel. Big content creators as well, who have the same type of passions as us. So recently the 2022 season just got wrapped up. So this year we tried to go all out and we played our annual Oklahoma series, along with playing at Mini Fenway Park. Three shots and in a red! Over the monster! The Coastal Cobras win the American League! Oh my goodness! Look at the red! Round the back! Mini Wrigley Field. Oh, I love Wrigley Field. It makes me feel like I'm at home here. Wrigley Field is just... What a pitch. Swing and a miss. Right center. He makes the play. Quick inning for Casey Bennett in the downtown Diamondbacks. In a field of dreams field. Yes. Oh, Michael Shamo! Go on! At the field of dreams in Essex, Vermont. One nothing. Let's go. Not to mention when we played at the Toledo Mud Hen Stadium, a game where I actually played in. The environment there was absolutely surreal. Whoa! In the center field, that ball is way back, and it's gone! Yeah! Woo! MVP! MVP! All the fans showed up because there was a fan fest before the game, and it was absolutely crazy. I played travel baseball my whole life, and I can easily say that I've never had that many people cheering that loudly for me at a game. There have never been more kids wanting in on MLW than now. There's so many kids that are trying to get their name out there on social media now and are making fan accounts all dedicated for wiffle ball and MLW specifically. So much more talent overall in the past couple years and there's so much more out there that we are just trying to see and take in eventually. Going back to the rules, all the balls that are used in this league are just original wiffle balls that are scuffed on pavement. The bats that we use are the original uh, skinny yellow wiffle ball bats. Although it's not as popular, this is not the only high-end level of wiffle ball that people can possibly see. Mid-Atlantic Wiffle Ball, also known as MAW, is one of the highest levels of competition that you can possibly play in and watch. Now this league started in 2017 and has really expanded since. This is also known as Fast Pitch Wiffle Ball because there's no radar gun and you can use big barrel bats. So it's a different type of concept from MLW. So the highest level Wiffle Ball that is played every single year is a tournament called UFs. Now that's United Wiffle Ball. It's where you see all this talent and all these leagues come together and make these two days just fantastic. This is what people think about for the next year after they play in it. Now with that being said, there are a lot of mall guys that want to join MLW eventually or want to part in it. And we think that is awesome. But you have to look at it from both sides too. So we don't want too many mob players coming over to MLW and it just become fast pitch player type. Over the past years, the league's gotten features by The Athletic, Yahoo, Barstool Sports, ESPN, Bleacher Report, SportsCenter, TBS, MLB Network, and more. In fact, the TBS feature was last year when Kyle and Jimmy North went on the show, and they actually played wiffle ball against Curtis Granderson, Pedro Martinez, and Ernie Johnson. 